All right, so Cinema 4D versus Blender. Which software is better? The answer to that is none. They both have their pros and cons. People ask me on why I use both. Because I use both because, let's say, Cinema 4D is better for doing this thing, and Blender is better for doing this thing. But overall, there's it, no software is better than the other. So I'll be showing you, let's say, uh, my pro, my why I use Cinema 4D for, let's say, like motion graphics or abstract, uh, abstract renders, and Blender for modeling, or rendering and texturing and stuff. And I would also like to note that it's if you prefer to use one software, and let's say you like to use Cinema 4D but you don't really want to use Blender, or the other way around, then that's that's completely fine. You could do you could do let's say modeling in Cinema 4D and do abstract stuff in Blender, uh, definitely. But in my workflow, I I use both. So I'll show a demonstration here. Um, so if I model the Megamin staff, uh, which is basically a, you know I reference from Google. Um, uh, first of all, adding reference images in Cinema 4D and Blender are are, are different. So in Blender you you add a reference image and you know you can scale it position position it and rotate and whatever and you can also turn on like a back face kind of option but for cinema 4d you're kind of like limited with that it's kind of weird on how you add references in in cinema 4d you can't do too much with it right like uh, as in blender um in my opinion uh it's easier for me to model in blender because of the key, uh, the shortcuts and the uh, the modeling tools that come with it. Now, Cinema 4D has the same thing. However, there's a lot of lot of weird things that that you have to like kind of deal with. So, for example, if I make a primitive, if I add a primitive in Cinema 4D, I um, I have let's say this uh, let's say the cylinder, and I can change the segments and rotation. But then after after I do that. I have to go to like edit mode, top left, and then I can, I can you know edit uh, edit with it. But then if I were to actually mess around with it, I realize that there's nothing, uh, uh, the faces aren't connected properly. So I have to like click everything, select everything, and then I have to right click and click optimize, and then I'll be able to, uh, you know, have a fully connected primitive shape. Um, with Blender, it's that's not much of a problem. Uh, however, you cannot change these segments around the cylinder like you can with Cinema 4D uh, after placing it down. Once you place it down, you have to change your segments there and then you can't go back. So in terms of animation, it really depends. Like if I'm going to be doing, let's say, like a character, uh, especially if it's rigged, you know, realistic camera movement or animated environments, vehicles and stuff, I would prefer to do it in Blender. Um, but if it were to be something a bit more, let's say, abstract, a more sci-fi kind of, uh, a more a sci-fi kind of animation, if it's something abstract or something that includes, uh, you know, motion design or, you know, uh, some special type of animation that I would do that in would be in Cinema 4D. It's more easy that way. Uh, in terms of parenting as well, uh, it's easier to actually uh, organize uh, my 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 meshes in Cinema 4D than it is in Blender, in my opinion. Um, but you know, in Blender, I can I'm I'm okay with it. It's not uh it's not uh it's not too much of a problem. But I do like Cinema 4D's uh Cinema 4D's UI better in terms of organizing your meshes and your animations and everything. But Blender is very good as well. They have like noise modifiers, all of that. and um, But it really depends on the type of animation I'm going for. Now, in terms of, let's say, rendering. With Blender, you don't really need any add-ons with it. Um, you don't, uh, you know, it has Cycles, which is a path tracing render engine, uh, which is accurate. Uh, and then you have real a real-time render, uh, render engine, which is Eevee, which uses rasterization. Uh, but for for Cinema 4D, you need plugins. You need Redshift, Octane, Arnold, or whatever render engine that uh, it is you uh, you prefer to use. You need you need to you need to have those plugins. And it's not like you can work with Cinema 4D without plugins. You actually need those plugins. It actually relies on plugins. You can look at uh, Cinema 4D Showreel, and they have like 
their all their uh, the people who use the software they use Redshift and Octane. Mo um, so you if you if you want to use Cinema 4D, uh, you can. But just you know, just a heads up, you're gonna need to have you need to worry. You need to use plugins and stuff. Um, but if you want a more detailed video on the differences between Blender and Cinema 4D, there is I'll link a video down in the description, which really help, which is I I find really accurate in terms of both differences. But the real the best way to actually uh, figure out which software is better is by using both of them. So when I first learned Cinema 4D, I'm like, you know, this is kind of cool. This is very easy. And then I shifted to Blender and I was like, wow, this is really hard. But after using Blender for like a month or two, I realized both softwares are good and it really depends on what it is you're doing. So like what I said, uh, check the video down in the description it will uh, show a more detailed explanation on the differences between Cinema 4D and Blender. I I think that video is quite um, accurate. But yeah, everything I said here is based on my opinion. If there is anything else you want me to make a video on, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll check it out. And peace.